Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator and welcome to another lovely Pokemon Days. We're gonna get a couple random battles in today. I'm starting off with an Amoongus against his Dustox and he's gonna set up some Quiver Dances, which ain't no good. I'm gonna get that Stun Spore going. Uh, basically just to cripple the speed. So Dustox is like really, really fragile and it's going to be extremely easy to take him down. He hits me with the sludge bomb as I go for my uh, hidden power, which I think is rock or ice, and that uh, sludge bomb actually hurts pretty bad. But I'm going to uh, stay in, hope for some paralyze hacks, and uh, see what else I can do. He's boosting that special defense even more, so my hidden power is going to do even less. Uh, but my Amoongus does have regenerator ability, so once I pull it out of battle, it will recover one-third of its health, which is extremely helpful. I can probably take another Sludge Bomb if that's what he goes for. No, sets up another Quiver Dance. That's just fine. That's just fine. You want to get greedy? Um, I know those Paralyzed Hacks are going to come through any time now. Because that's what happens when people start to get greedy. Everybody know that. I bring in the Kabutops, um, because he's got those rock moves, and that's gonna fuck the shit out of uh, a bug flying type. And he gets his roost, I'm gonna set up a swords dance with Kabuto, or Kabutops. He hits me with the sludge bomb, but it is resisted, apparently he does not have any grass moves, he probably has bug and poison, which is great. So I hit him with the stone edge, dead dust ox. Thank you for setting up to fucking plus three, but uh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, get the fuck out. Alright, Rotom's in here, fan Rotom with a balloon, I go for the Aqua Jet because I'm expecting a, a Volt Switch or some nasty Choice Scarf shenanigans, and there it is. Volt Switch comes in, takes out my Kabutops, but uh, he did his job, I guess. He he took down a poke and a half, Dust Stocks and Rotom, Rotom got a chunk taken out of him. He brings in the Mandy Buzz now, uh, which is kind of interesting. I've got a Cobalion, who does have some uh, rock moves. There's the Stealth Rock. I think he also has Volt Switch, so I was gonna use Volt Switch, but I get Whirlwinded out by the Mandy Buzz, and uh, my Amoongus is dragged back in, which is pretty okay. Mandy Buzz goes for the Taunt. I did not expect that, um, so my Stun Spore is defeated before it even goes off. And he brings in a Skun Tank, which probably has Fire Blast or some shit like that. Uh, I assume the Mandy Buzz was gonna go for Brave Bird, or, uh, something similar, but predicting the Fire Blast, I switch into Quagsire, and he goes for the Defog instead to get rid of my Stealth Rocks, which is probably a pretty good idea. Quagsire is going to fire off a few Scalds and uh, hope for the Burn, which is going to be cool, and he goes for the Sucker Punch. Nope, not going to do it. Encore that shit. <laughs> so now he's Encored into Sucker Punch. I thought he was going to switch, um, and I would get a free Scald, but no, he keeps going for it, so... I kind of know what pl sort of player he is now. Oh, see, St Skuntank got burned, so now the Sucker Punch is going to do nothing. I don't think I'm going to attack this turn, uh, just because I don't want to give him another free Sucker Punch. Even if he is burned, I'll just let him uh, sit there and die. Sit there and die! Cobalion comes back in here now that I know he probably doesn't have the Fire Blast. Or, yeah, he dies from the burn, so it doesn't really matter anyways. Rotom's back in here. I swear this thing has a choice scarf, but uh, I set up the stealth rocks in its face, so it probably does not. He goes for the Will O Wisp, which is fucking unfortunate because my Cabalion has mostly uh, physical attacking moves except for the Volt Switch. So I'll go for the Volt Switch now and uh, get my fucking crippled legendary out of here. That's super unfortunate. Um, and here comes the Quagsire once more, predicting a Volt Switch of his own. But he goes for the Pain Split, which is absolutely awful. This Quagsire does have Recover, um, but I won't be using that up against the Rotom and his nasty Pain Splits. Here comes another fucking Will-O-Wisp. I guess it doesn't matter that much on Quagsire because he's got uh, mostly special attacking moves. I hit that Rotom with the Toxic, which uh, should decrease his longevity with those fucking Pain Split shenanigans. And he brings it out which is probably a good idea. In comes Yan Mega, which uh, I'm pretty scared of. He's got speed boost, tinted lens, all kind of crazy shit. And uh, there's the recover on the Quagsire. So I'm predicting a Giga Drain, maybe, from this Yan Mega. But there's, uh, yeah, 
Not a whole lot I could do. Could switch into Kabalion, but he doesn't have anything to strike back. Um, neither does Amoongus, so... It's, it's a hard situation to be in. I let my Quagsire fall just because, um... That's what I gotta do. Bring in the Kabalion again. I think we're gonna go for the Volt Switch as he goes for the Air Slash. But I ended up flinching, which is fucking wonderful. This Yan Meg is gonna cheese the shit out of me. Um, ain't happy about it. He's getting his speed boost up. There's not nothing that I have on my team that can beat him uh, speed-wise now. I don't think I have anything with priority moves. Kabutops was here with the Aqua Jet, but uh, we let him go early in the match, which was looking like not the right choice. Porygon 2 is going to come in now. He has the EVO Light, so he's extremely fucking bulky. Look at that. And uh, he takes no damage from the Air Slash as I de devastate that thing with a Thunderbolt. Definitely glad I had this, uh, this wall on my team. <laughs> So his team ain't looking too hot now, uh, but neither's mine. We're three and three. He brings in his final Pokemon, which is a Mega Evolving Law Punny, which is also fast as fuck. Goes for the high jump kick, devastates Porygon too. Oh my god! What the fuck? <sighs> I guess Amoongus can come in and do some stun poor sh stun spore shenanigans, but that's not gonna work because Law Punny sets up a substitute, which is absolutely fucked. Um. So I'm in a really bad situation here. I've got two Pokemon left. I'm thinking, uh, this is it. This is it for the Dayton does. But you gotta fight it out all the way to the end. That's how these Pokies go. So I go for the Giga Drain, get rid of the Substitute, just so the next Pokemon I can bring in will have a chance to hit the Lop Bunny. He goes for the Substitute again. That's great. I'll Giga Drain again. Just, uh, don't want that thing to be up in my face because... It'll definitely probably mean death for the next Pokemon that comes in if that thing's uh, got a free hit. So he goes for the Ice Punch again. Too late. I Giga Drain too much. If he Ice Punched twice in a row, he probably would have got me. But uh, there we go. We're, we're coming up on the Lop Bunny. I think I am going to die, or the Amoongus is going to die on this round. Um, I could also have switched it out to get the Regenerator thing going, but it's uh, nearing the end of the battle now. And my final Pokemon is Reshiram. Suck it! <laughs> I saved my legendaries! Honestly, I got two legendaries in this fight, so uh, that's probably one of the major reasons that I outpaced him. He fought hard, I will say that. I wish that he would have won, uh, just because he didn't get any legendaries. He had shit like Dustox and Yan Mega. But uh, that's how the random battle goes sometimes. Sometimes they favor the date and does. So. I get the blue flare, kill the Lop Bunny, hit the roost, foul play is actually going to hurt pretty bad because uh, Mandy Buzz is using my attack stat in order to hit me, which is kind of weird, but it's okay. I got Stone Edge on this motherfucker, so I'll go for that. It doesn't do as much as I was hoping. Mandy Buzz goes for the taunt, so I won't roost again, but it's going to be too late. Uh, the second Stone Edge should be able to take it out, uh, depending on Min Max. Nope, not quite. <laughs> Of course not, but that's all right. We can take another foul play to the face. It's gonna come down to the wire, man. It's gonna come down to the fucking wire, man. And there's the blue flare. Mandy buzzes down. Now, if I can outpace the Rotom and uh, one shot it, I think it has like half health or lower. Maybe we can do it. We can probably do it. I love these fucking battles that come down to the wire. Yeah, Rotom's got no health because Stealth Rocks. Hits me with a Thunderbolt, but it's resisted, and my Blue Flare. My Blue Flare, or my Stone Edge, whatever. <laughs> we won! Dayton does victory. Hooray! <laughs> I got one more. All right, friends, battle number two against Aerofox113. I've got a Dodrio out against his Hitmonchan, which is an extremely good start for me. Probably gonna go for the Brave Bird straight off. And he switches into an Avalug, which is a fucking gigantic Ice-type tank, physical tank. So, my Brave Bird still does a good amount of damage, but I don't want to give up my Dodrio this early in the match. I know he's going to go for Avalanche or some shit. So, I'm going to bring him back and uh, keep him safe. And Hariyama can come. He's got Thick Fat. He'll resist the uh, Avalanche pretty good. Yeah. Um... And I'll be able to hit him with, like, close combat, hammer arm, some nasty fighting moves. I set up the bulk up in his face. He doesn't seem to care too much about that. 
Um, he gives me the Toxic, which is sort of unfortunate because I don't have a Guts Hariyama. It's just uh, thick fat. But that's okay. We'll be fine. There's the close combat. Boom! Dead Avalug. Fucking 75% 70, of his health just gone. I love Hariyama. He's so fat and w wonderful. <laughs> it's just, he destroys things! So, Hariyama and Dodrio, I'm super happy about on my team. He brings in the Scyther. Dodrio will be able to take that thing out. Uh, so, I let Hariyama fall to an aerial ace since he is toxic. He kind of did his job already, taking out that massive physical wall. Here's the Typhlosion with the Choice Scarf. Um, probably going to go for Eruption straight off, but he switches in a fucking Blissey, which is going to eat my Eruption right up. I don't have any uh, physical attacks to smack that thing around with. And if I Brave Bird it with Dodrio, that thing's got so much HP that it's probably going to kill him in one hit. Doesn't matter though, gotta get the Dodrio in there. Um, it is the only physical attacker that I've revealed thus far, and I like to keep my team a secret. So he gives me the Seismic Toss, which doesn't do too much damage. I guess I'm more glad to have that than the Toxic or something. He brings out uh, Blissey, avoiding the Brave Bird, and he brings in a Rotom Fan, which we saw in the last battle as well. Fucking knockoff really worked on that thing. Choice Banded knockoff from Dodrio is able to fucking take that thing down. Was gonna go for the Brave Bird, uh, but the switch was pretty obvious. Scyther's in here now. I'm gonna switch out my Dodrio once more, <clears throat> just because I know he has the Brave Bird, which will which will really fuck the Scyther up. I bring in Rotom, which uh, Electric Ghost will resist both Bug and Flying, so it's a really really hard counter to Scyther. He sees that, brings the Scyther out, and brings the Blissey back in. Fuck this fucking wall, man. Saw the switch coming, pulled the Volt Switch, or didn't see the switch coming, but Volt Switch was super effective on Scyther anyways. Um, and yeah, Dodrio's back in here. Dodrio can take out all three of his current Pokemon that he has showing. Hitmonchan, and Scyther, and Blissey. He'll fucking eat them all alive. So I think he's going to uh, leave his Blissey in here as a sacrifice so I can't get to the Scyther and the Hitmonchan with my Dodrio which is a pretty good tactical choice, all things considered. Um, I do get the Brave Bird on the Blissey, take down his wall, but my Dodrio unfortunately falls as well. I still have Typhlosion for the Scyther. Uh, Hitmonchan's not that bad to deal with unless he gets a couple bulk ups behind him. So he brings the Hitmonchan back in as I bring in my Omastar, which is probably a mistake, so I drag that Omastar back out immediately and uh, bring it into the Rotom, uh, predicting the fighting move. He does go for Drain Punch, which is great, so he didn't bulk up or anything like that, and uh, I think Rotom might have Will-O-Wisp or something. So Simi Sage comes in, his last Pokemon, so really Dodrio could have fucking wrecked the entire last half of his team. Uh, so I'm sad to miss him. But I switch out of there with the Volt Switch um, on the Simi Sage, and Typhlosion will take out at least Scyther and uh, Simi Sage. Hitmonchan, he, he's probably not going to eat a full health eruption either. So we did a really good job working around this guy's team. Um, the type matchups just didn't seem to be there for him. That's a large reason for the loss. Way a lord. <laughs> Way a lord's my last Pokemon. I didn't get uh, any legendaries this time, which kind of makes the, the match a little more fair. He did get a Blissey and Avalug and Scyther and Hitmonchan and a bunch of cool pokes, but we still came out on top because the Dayton does. So there's the Hydro Pump. I knew he was going to get some damage on me. Uh, this Whale Lord did have Water Spout, which does more damage based on how much HP you have. It's like the water version of Eruption. Really interesting. I wonder if they have a plant version soon. Anyways. I let him take down, uh, I let him take down my Wailord. Yeah, uh, his Blissey could have walled the last half of my team as well. Typhlosion, Wailord, Omastar, Rotom, all could have been walled by Blissey. Finally he forfeits, seeing the, uh, the futility of his actions, <laughs> and, uh, I take home the belt. Dayton does, the champ, who knew? Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, friends. Another lovely couple of battles on another lovely Pokemon Day. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And if you do, friends, I will send you a map of Fallout New Vegas. It's pretty cool. It's hanging on my wall, but uh, you can have it if you want it, I guess, maybe. Uh, so definitely leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one, friends. Until then.
Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends. <laughs>